Hello and welcome back to another video, another Call to Arms video. So today we're going to be playing another War of the Worlds battle. You guys seem to really like the last one so I thought why not do it again. Let's start the month with a War of the Worlds battle. So last time we did one in more of a rural area just like the movie. So I thought maybe in this one we will do one in more of a city environment. Um, I do apologise last time I, uh, I actually mistaken... War of the Worlds for Independence Day. Um, I have no idea why, but I thought that um, the mothership um, got destroyed, which killed off all of the tripods, um, which wasn't the case. It was actually the common cold, apparently. Uh, the aliens, obviously, they, they drank the blood of the humans, and uh, yeah, they died of the common cold because they just wasn't used to the bacteria that was on Earth. So, really interesting. So, anyway, without further ado, I think we're going to get on with this one. Uh, this definitely looks like a different country. It doesn't look like America, but maybe it's somewhere where the US military is deployed. Um, and yeah, we're going to see what it looks like both from the US perspective and from the tripods perspective. So we do have this new cool animation as well, which wasn't featured and wasn't in the last update. Um, so I thought I'd showcase this one, look, so you can kind of see that he's gone like into a prone. He's ready for them, look. Um, so the story is... The US military have seen this huge tripod come out of the ground in the center right there and they have cornered it off, they don't know what's going on, they're like, is it friendly? Is it not friendly? And um, you can... Oh, the epic sound. And uh, he's called for help from his friends. We've got another one over there and we've got another one over there. So we've got like three tripods against um, Abrams tanks, uh, Bradley's, uh, Humvees and a shed load of infantry. So let's crack on with this and see who wins. So clearly it's not friendly. Oh, look at the first line of defense that. So the shields are down on this one, I believe. But there is um, shields on the left one and the right one. So hopefully now they're going to start uh, coming into the battle. Uh, let's play as one of the troops just to see from their perspective. Oh my god, look at it. Yeah, that one's down. Oh, we're losing a lot of men over there. They're not going out there. <laughs> Quick, whilst it's distracted, run. Under the washing line. <gasps> no! You got us. Boy, forward, sir. Uh, we'll try and get him to come to the centre so we can actually see some movement. Oh, look at it go. Uh, I just also wanted to mention a potential new game that's coming out. Um, it's actually been sending a lot of traffic my way. Um, I've looked in the analy analytics of my channel and uh, there's this game called Interlakes. That looks really cool. I'll have to put, I'll pop a link in the description just so you guys can go and check it out. But it's built on the Unreal Engine 4 and they're making a sort of uh, War of the Worlds uh, survival horror game. So. I thought I'd give it a mention because they have been sending a lot of uh, my, my videos being recommended from that particular video or their particular video should I say let's play it as this guy only problem is if we drop into them like, you can barely see anything but we can play as the uh, tripod itself he's like my brother you killed my brother oh brutal Can't see anything. Alright. Reverse. <laughs> He's telling his mate in the driver's seat, like, back up a little bit, okay. So back up, do you realise that we we're not we don't have wheels, we have legs. 
In fact, they're not even legs either, they're like giant spaghetti things. I can't even see any of them. Oh no. You ready for this? Far more brutal than the movie. <laughs> Death. I don't even know if they've got any more reinforcements. I think the best place to be um, attacking these things is from underneath. Clearly, they can't um, they can't see below them. So let's have a little look, see what it looks like. I think his shields up. No, his shields up. Damn. Let's go and spy on the other one. We've lost most of our men now. Don't even know where the other one is. He's a bit spaced out, I think. Is he dead? Yeah, he's gonna. Oh, put a spike there. Where's his friend? There's still like two tripods left. Oh, that's a bit of a miss. Yeah, they've stopped shooting at us. Don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm out of ammo. Let's go and drop in as another character. The other one's trying to come over now. He's killing the soldiers before they even get into the map. This is not good at all. I think we're going to have to bring some more soldiers in. Let's bring in some more. So, I decided to bring in the high tier infantry to see if we do any better. Uh, I think we have at least one of every unit right here. It's going to be very laggy for this uh, short period of time because there's just so many of them. Uh, but we don't have any vehicles. I wanted to see how well they would perform against no vehicles because I know it was the tanks that did all the damage last time. So it would be nice to see if the rocket launchers can take them out. So we can actually see a lock rocket launcher on here. Then again, I don't think I placed any rocket launchers. It's purely infantry. Let's see if we can go for that satisfying shot. I think we'll have to get some rocket launchers out next. <laughs> That's going to be brutal. Oh my god. Another person asked me last time as well, can we ram them? So um, let's see if we can actually do that. So we're going to bring in a tank and we're going to see if we can actually ram the... Uh So, moment of truth, we're just boarding this uh, Abrams right here and we're going to go and see if we can uh, ram the uh, the tripod. Oh, there's more guys getting on. We're in a rush. I think I can get close to it. Oh god. I don't think we're going to get any close to it. No! Oh no, look at that. Oh, there goes his mate. He's going home. <laughs> I 
They've got to have a weak spot. Oh, we have got some bazookas on the ground. Oh, it looks so cool. They just don't appear to be interested in this tank. So we get closer to protect our soldiers. That contains the only thing that stops them from being evaporated. He's noticed us. Oh, we're gonna ram his legs. We need some snow speeders in here, don't we? So we can wrap the wire around them. There it goes. This could work. No, it doesn't work. Well, there you have it. We can't ram the legs, unfortunately. What? That's how easy it is to take out a uh, a tank. Right. So all that we need to do now is give it COVID nineteen, and we've won. <laughs> if you think about it, that's what happened to them. the uh, the tripods caught COVID nineteen. I think they've defeated us. You know. I mean, last time we brought in the tri in the um, the Apache helicopters. Let's have a look at the U.S. arsenal. Anyway. We've got the uh, we've got Bradleys. We've got an inflatable boat. Maybe we could bring an inflatable boat in. We have the Strikers. I think we'll try some Strikers to see if these do any damage. If they don't blow them up before I even get my men in them. Oh, this thing might do some good damage. We'll try the Strikers for now. I don't think we've got enough men to crew them. That's the only issue. <laughs> Uh, we'll put you guys in there, you guys in there, and you guys in that one. We'll bring these forward. See how these perform. We've still got a lot of men over here. They're all staying in cover, though. Why not? Let's just get a. Uh... Oh, the shields are just too much. Oh. He lost his head! Yep, stay in cover, my dudes. He tried. Oh, here they come. Moment of truth. Nothing. They had explosive rounds as well. So we've lost two of them. We've got this third one over here. That's about it, really. Let's see if we can do any damage. Just a simple browning. Will it make the difference? Now, the bright side to this one, though, right, is the fact that we've had all the cover from those buildings. Let's move some troops down. Let's see what else we have. We have Paladins. Oh, we're bringing the heavy artillery. We'll bring it from over here as well. Let's try a couple of Paladins. Let's get some units down here as well. We'll go for some Tankmen. Something. Musty Abrams. I think we need like 10 that first one. But that first one, you see, didn't even have a uh, shield on it. It was disabled, so. I'm just getting in. And then what we'll do is we'll pull them around near this wall right here. And see if they can do any damage. Do we have any more bazookas? To inflict pain. No. Everyone's got the right idea. All is quiet. Let's bring you, sir, over here. Inspect the car park. I think if we do another map on this, I'll probably make one of those uh, 
countryside maps again, like in the open. It's just that they find it really hard to maneuver around the buildings. Either that or just make the uh, roads wider, maybe. Uh, here we go. So, I'm going to get you on that hill. You with him. Let's see how they perform. Oh, there goes our other striker. No! 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 Go on, we've got to get one shot. I can't see. There we go. Is it going to land? It did nothing. They're too strong. Reloading. Look at the view though. So beautifully animated. And this is it. Moment of truth. He's looking at me. <laughs> oh no. Well, there you have it. I think the only way to defeat these things yet again is to bring in an Apache. It's the only way we can take them out. So let's do that because we can't leave two tripods just sitting in our little city over here. I've got to make some maps. I'm going to disturb my map making. Let's put you guys down here. Tripod. About to get wrecked. So we want the... Oh, got an A10 Warthog. I'm interested actually. Alright, we're going to try the Warthog. Or not. Apparently you can't get in them. <laughs> Never mind, Apache it is. Let's go for. We've got Blackhawks. The heavy Apache, that's the one. Two crew members. Let's see if this one Apache can take out both of these tripods right here. Alright, so what do we have? We have. 8 anti-tank guided missiles, 38 high explosive missiles, and high explosive rounds. Why am I not going up? That's it. Up we go. Oh! Reinforcements have arrived, sir. Let's take out this one first. Damn it, silhouettes! I hate the silhouettes. Take them out of this game, uh, developers. They suck. He sees us, he sees us! No! Ouch. Okay. That was no good. Look at the carnage. We just can't take them out. They're undefeatable. The infantry are still coming in. We've got this small... This could be interesting. Anything with a missile on it. I think we're in Russia, you know. <laughs> or somewhere. This definitely isn't the uh, America. There we go. Here we are. One away. Oh, we're just like poking him and saying, hey, look at me. I'm right here. There we go. On up. I think he survived though, right? He did, he's hiding underneath the... No he's not, he just got evaporated. Never mind. Well, there you have it. We tried, we tried to take them out. We, we had no luck, being honest with you. They just absolutely wrecked. Uh, <laughs> well we did, we managed to take one of them out, but there's still two left on the map. 
Um, as for the tanks, I think we don't have any more rolling in. They're destroying them as they enter the map. That's how strong they are. On both sides, that is. I think we have just a handful of infantry left. But yeah, um, I'm really glad you liked the last uh, War of the Worlds video. Uh, if you want to see more, I can always make more maps and perhaps put a little story to the next one if you want to see um, that. Um, but now we've seen a rural War, war, I say it, war of the Worlds video. And we've also seen a more city-based one, so um, epic. So I'm Mike Map One Two Three. Please like and subscribe. Join the Mighty Nation. Also, you can uh, support the channel further on Patreon. And uh, yeah, all links are in the description. And I will see you all in the next one.